This is going to be all core work here. A little bit of shoulder stability in this one as well. This takes a lot, a lot of balance, a lot of, um, you got to kind of know how to hinge on this one because the hips are literally going to go all the way out and this is really all we're doing. We're sticking the hips out and we're rotating our torso here. Show from another angle here. The hips are just going way out. That's all I'm doing. And I'm leaning to one side there. Now you'll notice that that arm that's not holding the kettlebell, that's going to glide on the inside of that left leg right there. The right leg is going to stay straight. The left leg is going to bend while I look up. I want you to feel this in the oblique. I want you to feel this in the core. Let's look at it from another angle here on, 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 on another arm. Same thing. So now that right hand of mine is going to go right on the inside of my leg. Right there. And that leg has a little bit of bend to it. I'm sticking my hips out. And as I'm rotating, that leg is just going to buckle. Naturally, it just wants to buckle so I can get the hips all the way out and rotate all the way up. All the load here is on the core. And you see how I'm looking up as well. I'm rotating, looking towards the sky, looking towards the kettlebell. That'll give you this big rotation and big core work in the obliques and in the full core. Rotate in. And now right there, I want you to get a big exhale on that. I want you to contract the core even further with a big exhale. So this should build rep by rep. 